first clip clip is of Hurricane Julia, as seen from the station a little after 7 a.m. Central Time. Over the course of the week, we've seen Julia go from a Category 2 storm to a Category 4 and back. And today it's actually down to a Category 1 storm with uh, currently 85 mile per hour winds. It's expected to weaken to a tropical storm by tomorrow morning. And here's a view from about 8.45 a.m. Central Time of Hurricane Igor. After holding out at a Category 4 for most of the week, the storm has finally weakened a bit to a Category 3 with 120 mile per hour winds. It's still a strong storm, however, and could threaten Bermuda over the weekend and into Monday. Again, this is video recorded by the cameras on the exterior of the International Space Station this morning from around 8.45 a.m. Central Time as the station was passing over Hurricane Igor. That was the last of the recorded views of the hurricanes we have for today, but um, we're coming up on the coast of Central America, or should be in the next few minutes, and hope to get live views of Hurricane Carl, which has um, gone from a tropical storm to a Category 1 and now to a Category 3 in the past 24 hours. It also has 120 mile per hour winds. 
and may actually make a Category 4 before it's done. It's expected to cross the western coast of Mexico near Veracruz before weakening over the mountains of south-central Mexico. And again, we expect to see some live views coming up in just the next few minutes. Again, this is a live view from cameras on the exterior of the International Space Station as the station is just beginning to hit the coast of Central America where Hurricane Carl uh, is currently located. Again, it's strengthened uh, from a Category 1 to a Category 3 in the past 24 hours and currently has 120 mile per hour winds. It's expected to cross the western coast of Mexico near Veracruz.
Hurricane Carl there disappearing from views of the camera's exterior video cameras. Station's exterior video cameras, rather. As uh, the station flies out over the Gulf of Mexico at an altitude of about 218 miles up. Those views were shot again by cameras on the exterior of the station, which are controlled by the communications and tracking officer here in the space station flight control room. However, they, as I mentioned earlier, the astronauts are also asked to spend time gathering still views of the hurricanes as part of the Crew Earth Observation Program. As they have time, astronauts on the station can take advantage of special opportunities to photograph specific features on the Earth as they fly over. The photographs record the Earth's surface changes over time as well as dynamic events like floods, fires, volcanic eruptions, and hurricanes. The images they capture provide researchers on the Earth with key data for better understanding the planet. And over the years, astronauts have taken more than 547,000 photos from the International Space Station. You can see some of the photos they've taken in the past online at the Crew Earth Observation website, which is earthobservatory.nasa.gov. In fact, you can see some of the photos they've taken of the hurricanes over the past week. Again, that's earthobservatory.nasa.gov. Also, if you're primarily interested in the hurricane work, 